President Donald Trump, who most often communicates his important thoughts via Twitter to his tens of millions of followers, finally tweeted about this morning's suspected pipe bomb sent to his favorite targets, former President Barack Obama, whose legitimacy in office Trump questioned for eight years former Secretary of State and woman Trump would most like to lock up Hillary Clinton former CIA chief John Brennan, whose security clearance Trump famously stripped with fanfare and who is a frequent Trump critic CNN, Trump's favorite network to hate liberal philanthropist George Soros who Trump insinuated was to blame for, most recently, financing the caravan traveling from Honduras to the U.S. southern border what Trump said, about two hours afterward broke of packages with bombs being sent to Clinton, Obama and CNN, the package sent to Soros was discovered Monday at his residence outside NYC, I agree wholeheartedly, Trump's three words accompanied a retweet of the remarks of Vice President Mike Pence. Pence had tweeted, we condemn the attempted attacks against former President Obama, the Clintons, at CNN. Grateful for swift response of its Secret Service, at FBI. Those responsible will be brought to justice, interesting remark, given that former Clinton aide Philippe Rhinus had earlier today said Trump is ultimately responsible, as the President of the United States and our country's insider-in-chief. We are living in an atmosphere where hate and violence have been not only incited but condoned by Donald Trump, Rhinus told NBC News' is Craig Melvin on MSNBC. There are a lot of people who are living on the edge of sanity in general, these days, he said. And when people in authority lift the guardrails from that, people are going to act out. And there is no human being more responsible for the climate we're in than Donald Trump, he continued, not mincing words. Today is the 643rd day he has been in office. I don't think he has uttered a single word on any of those days that in any way condemns violence or tells people to dial it down. He thrives on it, he requires it, he cannot succeed without hate and anger. For him to say everyone should dial it back would be him acknowledging and raising a white flag that might explain why Trump remained mum so long this morning and, when he did say something, did not tweet his own words of condemnation, which might upset his base. Trump's tweet